hello friends welcome to my youtube channel excellent economics in this video we will discuss about hyderabad university ma economics entrance questions paper of 2019 before coming to the questions paper if you have not subscribed yet then please subscribe this channel so that you can get instant notification of my upcoming videos thank you now coming to the questions first question in microeconomics the market is conceived primarily as an institution for given options are creating new resources equitably allocating resources equitably creating new resources and the last option is allocating given resources and here the correct answer is microeconomics primarily considered primarily as an institution for allocating given resources and which is given in option d so option d is the correct answer now question number 2 real gross domestic product real gdp of an economy is best defined as given option sir the market value of goods and services produced in an economy all goods and services produced in an economy stated in the prices of a given year the market value of all final goods and services produced in an economy stated in the prices of a given base year last option is the market value of goods and services produced in an economy stated in the current current year prices and here the question is about real gdp so real gdp and it is given in option c the market value of all final goods and services produced in an economy stated in the prices of a given base year as it is related to uh, real gdp so the value will be the value of goods and services it will be stated in the prices of a given base year so here correct answer is option c the next question number 3 while estimating minimum support price msp the commission for agricultural cost and price is in india analyzes which of the following factor cost of production terms of trade between agriculture and non agriculture price trends in the market both domestic and international and while estimating minimum support price the commission for agriculture cost and prices in india analyzes all the above factors cost of production it includes cost of production terms of trade between agriculture and non agriculture and also price trends in the market both domestic and international so here the correct answer is option d then next a risk loving or risk seeking consumer given options are values and incremental increase in wealth less highly than an incremental decrease in wealth and will reject a fair gamble option b values and incremental increase in wealth more highly than an incremental decrease in wealth and will see a fair gamble may even accept some unfair gambles and next option c will give same importance to each additional unit of increased money or wealth and option d none of this and in case of a risk loving or a risk seeking consumer always values an incremental increase in wealth more highly than an incremental decrease in wealth and will see a fair gamble and may even accept some unfair gambles so here the correct answer is option b then coming to the next one the trade triangle of a country shows the trade triangle of a country shows given option sir the positive extent of the exploitation by the country of its trading partner that the country is only trying to export commodity without any imports that the number of units of the imported commodity must exactly equal the number of units of exported commodity last one that the value of its total quantity of imports and the value of its total quantity of exports are equal and here the correct answer is option d that the value of total quantity of import and total value of its total quantity of import and total quantity of exports are equal then next in the keynesian cross model if the interest rate is constant 
the MPC is 0 0.6 and taxes are increased by rupees 100 how much does income changes so if tax is 100 and now we have to find out how much does income changes and here we can use the formula of tax multiplier which is given by minus b divided by 1 minus b and here b stands for mpc so if mpc is 0 0.6 its value will be minus 0 0.6 divided by 1 minus 0 0.6 so it will be minus 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.4 so it will be 3 by 2 which is equal to 1.5 3 by 2 which is equal to 1.5 the value of tax multiplier so if the value of tax multiplier is minus 1.5 it will be negative so if it is minus 1.5 then with taxes of rupees 100 then the income it will changes by a multiplier time multiple tax multiple times so here tax multiplier is minus 1.5 so income it will changes by 100 into tax multiplier whose value is minus 1.5 so it will be minus 150 or we can say income will decrease by rupees 150 so here multiplier value is minus 1.5 and changes in income or tax is 100 so changes in income will be 100 into minus 1.5 it will be minus 150 or uh, it decreases income by rupees 150 which is given in option c so option c is the correct answer now the next one if the marginal propensity to consume is large then if mpc is large then given options are the is curve relatively steep the is curve is relatively flat the lm curve is relatively steep the lm curve is relatively flat and the mpc and mps is going to affect the shape of the is curve so and if MPC is large, then IS curve it becomes relatively flat. And if MPC is small, then IS curve is relatively steep. And here the question is about the MPC is relatively large or MPC is large. So here the IS curve it will be relatively flat, which is given in option B. So option B is the correct answer. Then the next one. Consider the production function given here y equal to minus x cube plus 6 x square plus 15 x where y is output and x is the input for what value of x the marginal product of capital start decreasing so here the production function is given and we have to find out the value of x for who is the marginal product of capital it will start decreasing so here first we have to find out the marginal product of capital and here i have written as mpl it should be mpk because it is given capital not labor so we can use l uh, k in the place of l mpk so it will be marginal product of capital marginal product of capital will be change in output due to change in capital so it will be del y by del x as your x stand for capital or input so marginal product of capital will be change in y due to change in x del y by del x it is marginal product of capital now in order to find out the value for which marginal product of capital start diminishing or decreasing so first we have to find out the first order derivative of marginal product of capital and we have to set it equal to 0 then we will get some critical value and then we have to find out the second order derivative of marginal product of capital and if where the second order derivative becomes negative then that point will become the point of maxima or maximum and from that value from that value 
the value of x it will start or value of x for that value of x the marginal product of capital it will start decreasing so here the procedure is first we have to find out the marginal product of capital that is change in y by change in x del y by del x then we have to take a then we have to find out the first order derivative of marginal product of capital and we have to set it equal to zero then we will get the critical value and next we have to find out the second order derivative of the marginal product of labor or as it is given in capital form so marginal product of capital second order derivative of marginal product of capital then the critical value at which the second order derivative becomes negative the function will become at a maximum value at a maximum point and from that point or that value of x the marginal product of capital it will start decreasing and if we apply the procedure then we will get the value marginal product of capital or value of x equal to 2 from which the marginal product of capital it will start decreasing or declining now coming to the next one fiscal deficit in public finance is defined as a situation where given options are a government's total expenditure exceeds total revenue that it generates including money from borrowings then a government total expenditure exceeds the total revenue that it generates excluding money from borrowings then next a government's total expenditure exceeds total revenue plus borrowing from international agencies and last option is none of the above and here the correct answer is a government's total expenditures exceed the total revenue that it generates excluding money from borrowing and it is given in option b so option b is the correct answer then next which of the following is the alternative name of expected utility function given options are cobb douglas form of utility function stone gary utility function von neumann morgenstern utility function non-probability utility function and the alternative name of expected utility function is von neumann morgenstern utility function which is given in option c so option c is the correct answer the next assumption of non-satisfaction property in consumers utility analysis states that consumers given options are are satisfied with existing commodity prices and income level are never satisfied with equilibrium point on the indifference curve prefer less or more wealth and marginal utility of wealth is strictly negative and prefer more to less wealth and marginal utility of wealth is strictly positive and the non satisfaction property and consumer utility analysis states that consumers prefer more to less wealth and marginal utility of wealth is strictly positive which is given in option d so option d is the correct answer here now question number 12 when two commodities x and y are perfect substitute of each other then consumers indifference curve will be in case of perfect substitute commodity the consumers indifference curve it becomes a downward sloping linear straight line as becomes a downward sloping straight line or linear straight line so here the correct answer is the indifference curve will be a linear demand curve linear indifference curve which is given in option c in case of substitute commodity the indifference curve is downward sloping straight line or linear curve a linear line so option c is the correct answer now question number 13 which of the following is true when two indifference curves intersect each other? Given options are it violates assumption of transitivity and more is better. Equilibrium solution is attained at the intersection point. Convexity poverty is not satisfied for each indifference curve and none of the above. And when two indifference curves intersect each other, that means it violates the assumption of transitivity and more is better. And it is given in option A, so option A is the correct answer. Then next, which of the following is relevant for test or test for equality of variances 
of two population and given options are z statistics t statistics chi square statistics f statistics and as we know for equality of variances of two population we use f statistics which is given in option d so option d is the correct answer the next classification of inputs of production into fixed input and variable inputs each given options are valid only in short run valid only in the long run valid only in agriculture sector none of the above and the classification of input into inputs of production into fixed input and variable input is valid only in the short run as in the short run some factors are fixed and some factors are variable so the classification of fixed input and variable input is valid only in the short run because in the long run all factors of production become variable factors of production so here the correct answer is option a the next the set of all technologically feasible production plants is called the farms given options are input requirement set technologically efficient production process production function production set and the set of all technologically feasible production plan in the farms is called the farms production set which is given in option d so option d is the correct answer now elasticity of substitution between two factor inputs for a leontief isoquant is equal to this question is about leontief isoquant or input output isoquant in case of input output isoquant or leontief isoquant the shape of the leontief isoquant is l f and here the uh, two factors of production they are perfect complements to each other so in case of complementary commodity the isoquant shape is l shape and here the question is about elasticity of substitution if two factors are their complements to each other or in case of complementary commodity the value of elasticity of substitution it will become equal to zero as two commodity are complements to each other they can never be used as substitute of each other so here the value of elasticity of substitution it will be zero the next the theory of optimum currency area was pioneered by the economist given options are valachan samuelson paul krugman robert mondel mondel fleming and the theory of optimum currency area it was developed by robert mondel which is given in option c so option c is the correct answer the next operation of the principles of income multiplier assumes given options are on changing prices excess industrial capacity on employed labor and all the above and the principle of the operation of income multiplier it assumes all the above option that is on changing prices excess industrial capacity and on employed labor so option d is the correct answer here now question number 20 if the economy is on the lm curve but is to the left of the is curve aggregate output will and interest rate will if the economy is in the lm curve but it is to the left of the is curve then both aggregate income or output and rate of interest it will rise so aggregate output will rise and interest rate will rise so here it is given in option d rise and rise aggregate output will rise and interest rate will rise so option d is the correct answer we have completed up to question number 20 in our subsequent video we will complete the rest questions if you like this video then please share give your valuable comment and subscribe this channel and thank you